So today I have an Anko spot cleaner. You will not believe how difficult it is to get your hands on one of these at the moment. I, after seeing it on a viral TikTok, just like everybody else, ran off to Kmart to go get myself one because I have a few spots around the house I just want to clean. I rent and you definitely don't want to mess up the carpets in her ankle. One of my friends who I clean for spotted one of these on the shelf the other day. She sent me a message saying, Shemaine, there's this random spot cleaner sitting in the middle of nowhere. I think it was amongst toys. Do you want it? And I was like, please get it for me. Anyways, I got one. So we are going to try out two spots today. I have one in the kids room. If any of you know how it goes with slime, these things are a nightmare. You cannot get them out your carpet unless you really, really, really scrub or catch it really early. So my daughter has managed to mess some of that in her room. I want to try and clean up that mess. And then there is another spot in my living room. There is a red spot on the floor. I don't know what my grandson did. It could be him. It could be the other two. However, there is a red spot in there. So today we're going to try and get those two spots out and see how well this works. I have decided to take it out of the packaging before doing this video. I don't want to do these videos where I take it out the box and as I'm doing it, I'm trying to learn what to do with it. And then some of the things that I learn later on, I cannot tell you about because I've already done the video. So today we are going to have a look at it. I've already checked it out. So before we begin, I just want to let you know that this has a detachable water tank. The clean water tank has a capacity of one liter. Dirty water tank has a capacity of 460 mils. It's got a 1.25 meter suction hose, three meter long power cord, and it's just got a press to spray function. So while you're using it, you press it, the water comes out, and then you're going to suck it up as you're cleaning. There are quite a few little tools that come with it, which I'll show you shortly. Um, it's got an upholstery tool, which is great because I want to do my lounges. They are really bad. It's got a tough stain tool and it's got dog brushes. So some of the accessories it comes with. First of all, you have your booklet so you can go through it and see what you need to do. But I'm here for you. I'll show you. It comes with your upholstery cleaner. This is the one that the water will come out. There is a spout that you would spray your water and then you would suck it up with this one on your upholstery. This is really cool. Um, you can actually see all the dirt coming up and getting sucked out and then it also gives you a guide as to when there's not that much water left because you won't see it coming up through the clear piping. The next one you have is this one. This one is more of a scrubber so it's for those tougher marks. You can use this to scrub a little bit just to remove more tougher stains. I would suggest that taking something like Dyson or any of your stain removers that you would use on your clothing and just giving the stain a little bit of a spray before you do it, maybe a few minutes, just let it settle and then go in with this. That can also help you get those tough marks out. I do want to mention that you should probably go and have a look on your on your lounges or on whatever you're going to clean. See if there's anything recommending what you should use on there to clean with and what they recommend you don't use before you go in and just clean. And also maybe just do a little bit of a test at the back of your lounger. Then you can just see that it doesn't do any damage before you go full on on the front and then you have a problem. So that's that one. And then you have this one. This is the dog brush nozzle. So it comes with two attachments. The first dog nozzle you get is this one. Now this one comes with a metal comb on the one side and the soft bristles on the other. This one is meant for long hair animals. And then you've got the other one which has just got the bristles on either side. This one is a plastic bristle and there is your brush like bristles. This one is for your short hair animals. Really cool. They will just pop onto this and then you will use them to remove whatever you need to remove. This little gadget goes into the bottom of your water tank, the clean water. It'll screw in once you fill the tank and it just holds the water in place for you. So that is where you will put the nozzle on and you will fill your water up to the max level. The plain clear one is the one that you will put your clean water into. And the other one with all the funny inside gadgets, that is the one all the dirty water will come into while you're cleaning. So in order to remove it, it has got this piece up here that you will just pull back and you will lift it up to take it out. It will be connected like that. You'll just pull it back, lift up, and you're ready to go. Turn over, fill up with water, make sure it's to the max level. They have put it upside down for you. So when you fill it, you can see where it goes. Then you will take 
your screw on nozzle that looks like those that you normally put onto a hose screw it on and then you'll just pop it straight back into place and make sure that it clicks in like that then you know it's ready to go three meter long power cable with your two prongs on the end it's also got the piece of velcro on it so you can wind it up nicely and tie it up for easy storage then we've got the pipe that it comes with which i have wrapped around this is 1.25 meters long it's actually in the back of your system built in you can wind it around and it's got this little piece over here which comes separately as well with all the other gadgets it will come loose like that all you need to do is hook that piece there onto this little back section making sure it clips into place properly when you wind your pipe around and it comes back you've got that nice little area to clip it into and it stays all nicely in one place I think that's quite cool getting back to the pipe over here you've got your little nozzle this is the nozzle that you will squeeze to release the water out when you add your item on you'll make sure that you push it on that that little piece there goes into the circle so we will push this one on so you can see it'll click and then you'll know it's in place and then you're ready to go when you want to take it off again just push that nozzle down and pull it off I think it's nice and compact it's not too big you can store this away in your cupboard in your laundry you can put it in the garage wherever you feel and clean it out each time you use it but let's go and see how this thing works I am really excited to see if it's going to take these marks out because it will save me so much money in having to get someone out here to come and clean it I have tried scrubbing with a scrubber and I have used all sorts of things on it and it just has not worked but before we start I just want to show you what I'm going to use to put in the machine because it doesn't come with a cleaner I have gone to Woolworths and purchased one from them they have a whole section there where they hire out machines if you just go up to them and ask them for the upholstery cleaner they will give that to you or you can also get the carpet cleaner which in this case you probably need a carpet cleaner I purchased the upholstery cleaner but I'm sure it'll do the same thing I just purchased the Brightex upholstery cleaner you're basically just going to put the measurement of this into here I think this one shows you how to do a 9 litre bucket of water all I did was calculated how to do it into a 1 litre so you'll just do the measurements pop your liquid in here fill it up with water and you're ready to go okay so here we have spot number one I told you it was a red spot I have no idea what this is it's just red now before we start I just want to show you guys on your machine your on off switch is up here you can see I have filled it with my liquid I didn't fill it too much because I only wanted to do two little spots and we don't need to fill it for anything else I'm gonna go in with the scrubbing brush first so I'm literally just going to attach that quickly onto my pipe and it's clicked in place and then we're going to push our button Okay, it's not really making much of a difference to be honest with you that mark is still there I'm gonna try suck the water out now and just see what happens I did tell you you should pre-treat before you do this I should probably have done so I haven't pre-treated it but I wanted to see how bad the mark is first so I might have to go in with a pre-treat but let's give it a suck I have now put that nozzle on and if you pay attention you will see all the dirt coming in through here
Okay, the water was pretty clean. The carpet is actually a really clean carpet. We put this carpet down to protect the other carpet. Um, but you can see the mark is still there, if not actually worse than what it was. So I'll pre-treat that one and come back to it and then we can have a look again and see if it actually works. So I'm just going to go in with some Dyson Pro Oxy. This one is safe on colors and whites and I think it'll be fine on the carpet. So I'm literally just going to give some sprays. I know excess. Okay. And I'm just going to leave it like that now and we will come back and do it again in a little bit once we've done the kids room. Here is mark number one. Uh, there are some more on this carpet, but I've specifically zoomed into this area so we can have a look at this one. There is some hard pieces on the floor here, but you can see the marker we're focusing on now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-treat it quickly. We're going to let that sit for a bit and then we're going to get to cleaning it. We're going to go in with a scrubby tool again. I just want to give you guys a bit of warning when you're pulling it off when you pull it off be very careful not to touch the trigger I have just sprayed myself I don't know how many times trying to do that it is a little bit difficult to pull off because you need to get a grip just try not to touch there so let's go in and scrub away It's difficult to see if it's come out. I want to say it has, but I'm not sure. I just want to do another one, which is just over here. So I've done quite a few spots around here. Um, I want to say it's taken out the marks. It hasn't lifted the dry pieces out But let's see what happens now when we suction it. So like I said when you take this off try not to push the trigger Just hold the top and pull off And we're gonna connect our suction upholstery attachment and let's do some sucking Okay, so this is the area that we focused in and I want to tell you that the marks are out. The slime has been taken out. These harder pieces, I think I need to just try get the hard pieces off before we do any washing there. I don't think it's healthy to get the hard pieces through the, um, the machine anyways. But it definitely lifted out the slime. So, slime removal, done. We're happy. Let's go back to the living area and see what we can do with that mark now that it's been settled for a while. Okay, so we are zoomed in a little bit more. You can have a look. There is our mark. And I have left it with the Dyson on for a while while we went and did the kids' room. Let's see what happens now. I'm going to put the scrubbing tool back on first and just try and see if we can give it a bit more of a scrub. I don't know if this mark is going to come out. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's permanent marker or 
You know, Raven does arts and crafts. The only thing I can think of is that he got hold of a permanent marker or she did. So let's try suck and see what happens. <gasps> Okay, I'm afraid that one, she's not coming out. I don't know, maybe it's a marker, I'm not sure what it is. I don't see anything lying around here that I could possibly think of that he could have played with other than a marker. Which would mean my daughter and her little arts and crafts things have got to be put away. Oh wow, it's starting to rain. That's cool because it's so hot here and I'm dying. At least now maybe the weather will just like calm down a little and get cooler. Anyways, so what I want to say is I don't think the spot cleaner is made to clean everything really well. There are things it's not going to pull out. But it definitely pulled the slime out. And I must tell you, slime is not easy to remove from anything. Let me know in the comments below. Have you got any marks and what have you used to get it out? Is there something you can suggest to me to maybe remove my red marking pen out of my carpet. I really love the spot cleaner is light and you can get it around really easily. It's definitely great for those little spot cleans. I'd like to get it into my car and see how it cleans my car seats. That would be a great one. I did try and use it on my lounges the other day. It has definitely made a difference but not 100%. So there's the water inside. It is dirty and this is from a clean carpet and just a little tiny spot on the kids floor. Just shows you how dirty they get. I don't really think these carpets were cleaned before we moved in here properly. I want to redo all the carpets at some stage but that will not be done with a spot cleaner, they will be done with a proper cleaner. My tip for today is to make sure that you maybe just pre-spray with stain remover on your item before you go in and clean it just to make sure that you definitely get that mark out. If you forget about it and you find yourself cleaning and it didn't come out, try the pre-stain and then go back again and try to clean it and see if it comes out. Hopefully you're not as unlucky as me and have red marker in yours. If you're enjoying the cleaning tips, I would suggest you go and check out this one where I go and clean a TV screen, how to clean it properly and what to use on your TV and what not to use. See you next time.